What's up YouTube? I'm Russell Mack. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a 2002 release. A fragrance from Liz Claiborne. This is none other than Bora Bora. This is a very sexy, alluring fragrance. Uh, I tell you what, stick around with me. We're going to talk about this fragrance. This is a legend in the game. Been around for 18 years. So, I'll be right back with the fragrance preview. You dig? Watch this. I'll see y'all after the break. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. fragrance. It has been around since 2002. That's about 18 years. It's by Liz Claiborne. Okay. It's called uh, Bora Bora again. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what this what this bottle design is and why they designed it this way, but it's beautiful. As you see, it's a beautiful blue, dark blue, with these plastic, almost look like a, I don't know. Y'all, yeah, I don't know what this is, but the screen, I know this look like a little computer screen. It has Bora Bora written in black with a gray background or silver background with the square top with trees, I guess, or tree designs look like going down a hill. And it's a perfect square with an opening, okay? And this is a, a beautiful itemizer. That works very well, okay? Uh, you do have your batch code, okay? Uh, your scanning code on the bottom. Uh, the box, I got it somewhere here. I don't know where it is, but we don't really care too much about boxes, all right? Um, <clears throat> the nose behind this fragrance. Um, Talia, give me the nose behind this fragrance. Pascal Gorin. So it's Pascal Gorin. All right. And Oliver Pold. And Oliver Pold. So they collaborated on this fragrance for Liz Claiborne. All right. Um, before I give you the notes, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to Solomon's Vineyard. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any uh, of my new uploads or any content from this channel. Okay. Uh, I would love uh, your comments. Okay. I would love you if you would share my fragrance content. Share it to your friends, your family, you know, your girlfriend, your your boyfriend, your lover, okay, your pastor, even your church members. Let them know about your boy Russell Mack in the frat community. Tell them I'm coming up. Might be coming up on the rough side of the mountain, but I'm coming. All right. You can follow me on Instagram at darkrider761. Also on Facebook at Russell Mack. Yeah, you can find me. That's where I am. And right here on YouTube on Solomon's Vineyard. All right, let's move along. The notes for this fragrance. Um, your top notes are bergamot. Okay, we know about bergamot. It's, all, it's in almost every fragrance <laughs> that's known to man. You have, here's where it differs. You have a tropical note of kiwi and lemon. All right, we're gonna talk about those in a few minutes. Okay, then you have hibiscus, which is an odorless plant. We're gonna talk about that, that's found in the tropics. Also, we have that beautiful earthy lavender, which I love lavender in any fragrance. That's also a popular note in perfumery. Okay, at the bottom we have cedar, okay, musk, 
and leather. Now, what do this fragrance smell like? It's classified as a fruity, okay, a fresh fruity. The brief, from all the reading and research I did, is this fragrance was designed by Liz as a uh, romantic or sensual or alluring fragrance. Uh, let me tell you what the star notes in this fragrance is. Lavender and that musk, heavy on the musk. Um, the leather, the cedar, that's what you get when it gets all the way close to the skin, all right? Now, when you first spray this fragrance, you saw me spray it in the opening of this video. I'm gonna spray it on my hand, I like it. The itemizer, you saw it shoots very well. Mm, yes, this is real nice. Uh, I actually am wearing, uh, I'm wearing uh, Versace Oud Noir, and this absolutely goes right along with it, especially when it dries down. And we were just outside, me and my girls, um, on YouTube, actually, and I, I was playing with this bottle and checking it, sniffing it and checking it out in the, in the wind, because we have a really nice cool breeze outside right now. Um, you open it, you get um, the bergamot, the kiwi and lemon. Now, we know that those are fruity, okay? They're not like citruses, okay, as much. The kiwi has a zesty, juicy, tart smell along with the tartness and the sourness of the lemon. But the bergamot actually brings those bo both of those notes together for a really, really pleasant smell. And along with the alcohol, it helps it not to evaporate as fast, okay? So that way, the kiwi, the lemon, the bergamot sticks around for at least an hour as, it, as the, the fragrance progresses, all right? Now, as it begins to dry down into this beautiful heart, you have the hibiscus. I told you earlier, it is a odorless plant from the tropics. You have the lavender. Okay, but when the hibiscus is concentrated in perfumery, hear this, it gives a pomegranate, a zingy pomegranate smell. So you have pomegranate along with lavender in the heart. And that is what you get uh, basically throughout the entire fragrance. The kiwi, bergamot, and the lemon it, it evaporates after about an hour and a half, okay? Yeah. Now you have in the body of the fragrance where the magic is, and when you finally get to your date, when you get uh, to where you're going with your wife or your girlfriend or your significant other, now you buy, by then you into the lavender. Oh my God, that beautiful, earthy, sensual lavender with the hibiscus, which smells like uh, which gives off this, this uh, you know, the fruit I just told you about, pomegranate. You got pomegranate and lavender. And throughout the rest of the day, you have the cedar, the musk, and the leather. And that musk is heavy in its fragrance. That's what makes it so beautiful. That musk, the lavender, along with the hibiscus, uh, with, that, with a hint of, the, of leather, the, the smokiness from the leather with the musk and cedar that gives it a heavy woody smell in the dry down. Man, this stuff is sexy and I believe is looked over and forgotten about. I gotta give a shout out to my boy Keith Crook because this is one of his favorite fragrances. This is a beautiful fragrance. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing how, how fragrances uh, uh, talk, uh, are talked about once they come out. Then after a few months, the next new thing come out. And then the, these fragrances like this is pushed into the back of the shelf or back into our collection and they're forgotten about. But fragrances like these are fragrances that need to be pulled out again. They work. This is a classy fragrance. Okay. It is signature scent worthy. This is something you can wear every day, all day, unoffensive. Uh, you can
can wear it all day long, okay, at work or wherever you work or wherever you go. Then you can turn right around and wear it to the club. I would wear this to the club. This stuff is sexy. I forgot about how pretty and sensual this fragrance was. I remember this back in 2002. Um, there's another one that I, I, I've been looking at that I should be, I'll be talking about real soon. And it's an oldie, but goodie. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. Uh, but gentlemen, ladies, pull out, get back to some of these fragrances. I think I paid $12 for, for this, you know, for this fragrance at Burlington Coat Factory. Well, no more Coat Factory, but Burlington. I bought a couple of other fragrances, and I've been really finding some good fragrances at Burlington, okay? Um, $12 with tax, if you will. Um, it lasts on me eight hours. Eight hours. I get, uh, for the first two hours, I get that beautiful kiwi, okay, and lemon, along with lavender, musk, and hibiscus. For the remaining six hours, I get the cedar with the lavender and musk, okay, and left and leather. So this fragrance is actually beautiful from the opening all the way until you can't smell it no more. Okay, it'll last. In fact, don't forget to spray your shirt, like I'm doing right now. Spray your shirt. Um, put that so you can have that scent bubble. Uh, and I'm telling you, this is a compliment garnering fragrance. Women, they love this. In fact, it was a woman that came up with it, Cliz Claiborne. So I'm going to listen to the lady, okay? Women know how they want men and they want their men to smell, okay? Um, this is a versatile fragrance. I would even say it's a unique fragrance. It's not a fragrance you smell. This is not a scent you smell every day. I think it's mass appealing, okay? Uh, I believe that it is a signature scent worthy. It's a professional scent, okay? You could also wear it around the house, to the store, uh, out to eat, shoot basketball, put a little bit around your neck and grow long. Go eat, eat. I, look, I even wear it to the gym. I hit my wrist with it, around my neck, behind my ears, keep it moving. This is really nice. Thank you, Keith. Uh, he had been uh, recommending it and recommended it for a while now and I ran across it and I was minded to get it. I'm glad I bought it, okay, because it really is good and it has gone at me several compliments, okay? All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm through. This is Bora Bora by Liz Claiborne. I'm trying to get the top on. This top is, is tight, y'all. And you have to put it on. There it is. It's tight. You can't hold it from the top. Just be careful. All right. Um, thank you so much for joining me for another fragrance preview. This is Bora Bora by Liz Claiborne. All right. I'm getting on out of here, y'all. Y'all take care of yourselves. Be careful out here, okay? There's a lot going on. Keep me in your prayers. All right. I'll be moving soon from this location to another location. I'm downsizing. All right. Um... So pray for me and my family, man. Uh, and I'll be praying for you, okay? Don't forget to wear your mask when you go out. Don't forget to wash your hands. Keep them hands clean. Get you some sanitizer if you don't have any. Clean your house with bleach, okay? Because a friend of mine, a couple of friends of mine, has contracted the coronavirus, all right? And now I can't visit with them, all right? I'm okay. I was tested and me and my family are all right. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you again for another fragrance preview. Peace out. All right, all right, all right.